Burets are graduated cylinders that measure the volume of the drained liquid. Burets can be used immediately after rinsing with small amounts of the titration solution to be used. Confirm whether the stopcock is tightly closed. Because burets are considerably tall, you may set them on the flow to transfer a titration solution. After setting the funnel, slowly pour the titration solution to an appropriate level. After removing the funnel, replace the buret on the bench. Next, open the stopcock of the buret to expel the trapped air along with the solution. There is no need to adjust the meniscus of the solution to zero. Move your eyes to the level of the liquid surface and read the value of the bottom of the meniscus with one-tenth of the smallest scale marked on the buret. Add two or three drops of phenolphthalene indicator to the sample solution. Handle the stopcock with left hand to add the titration solution. Alternatively, one can handle with both hands. Shake the vessel to make the sample solution homogeneous during the addition. Near the end point, a part of the sample solution turns red, which disappears soon by mixing. The disappearance of the color gradually becomes slow. Towards the end point, Add the titration solution more carefully drop by drop. At the end of titration, the faint red color does not disappear. The titration value is obtained by subtracting the initial reading from one at the end point. This is an inappropriate example of titration if a judgment is made on the basis of a strong color. A correct reading cannot be obtained. Wash the used buret and clamp it upside down on a buret stand, leaving the stopcock open.